Hello, my name is Janet Forrest. I'm one of the adult programs coordinators at the Nantucket Athenaeum. And today I'm going to be giving you an overview of an online platform called Hoopla. Hoopla is a great resource for ebooks, audiobooks, movies, and TVs, and even comics. So the way you're going to get into Hoopla is to visit the Nantucket Athenaeum uh, website, which is nantucketathenaeum.org. And what you'll do is scroll down until you reach a section called Browse Our eLibrary. And from here, you're going to cl click on audiobooks. This is going to take you to a new page. And here you'll see Hoopla. I'm going to click on that. If this is the first time you're using Hoopla, you're going to have to set up a, a login and password. And what you'll do is come down here to sign up. You'll click on that. You'll enter your email. You'll confirm your email password, uh, confirm your password, and they'll send you an email confirmation. It'll take you through the rest of the steps. As I already have a login set up, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Enter my email, oops, my password, and I'm in. Once you log in, it's going to take you to my Hoopla, this page. And what you'll see here is books and titles that are currently borrowed. And I want to draw your attention to this number 10. You can borrow 10 more titles this month. Each month, each card holder is given 10 borrows. You can borrow up to 10 items each month. And then at the next month, it'll reset. And down here, you'll see items that are recommended for you. I'll show you where you can tailor this so you get more customized recommendations. And down here are favorites. These are items I marked that I didn't want to watch at the time or download at the time, but I may be interested in later. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to search. Now, if you know specifically what you're looking for, you can go ahead and type that in. So I'm going to look for an author I really like. Her name is Louise Penny. So when I click on that, it's going to show me everything in the database that is by Louise Penny. Now, if you don't know what you're looking for, the better way to browse is to actually go over to this drop down here, Browse. And you'll see these options. You'll look for a particular format. So let's go to audiobooks. I'm going to click on audiobooks. And as you'll see up here, it says it's one, one through 48 of 40,000 titles. So let's try to narrow that down. What I would recommend is you see these tabs here? Go over to categories. And when you click on categories, you're going to get a whole bunch of genres you can pick from. The, pick from. They're very, very specific. And two that I thought were interesting in audiobooks uh, to listen to in your lifetime. There's audiobooks read by celebrities. There's audiobooks um, that were made into movies. So there's all different ways to look. The other thing to look for right now is bonus borrows. And what that means is that if you borrow, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. If you go ahead and borrow one of these, they do not count towards one of your 10 credits. You can listen to or borrow as many as you like, you like throughout the month and it won't um, deduct from your 10 credits that you have. Another thing I'd like to show you is, let's say I want to read um, this book, Cul-de-sac by Blake Pierce. I'm going to click in and remember I had showed you uh, favorites. The way you would do that is down here, instead of clicking borrow, you'll click on this heart. And when you click on that, it'll, it'll turn pink. And I'll show you, I'm going to go back up to my Hoopla and go to favorites. And you'll notice it got added to that list. And that's how you use favorites. So let's go back to browse. And I'm going to click on bonus borrow, so it's not going to count towards my credit. And let's say I'm ready to go ahead and borrow that book. I'll click on it. I'll click borrow. And it's going to tell you that this title is available for 21 days. So books and ebooks and audiobooks are available for 21 days. TV and movies 
are available for three days. So I'm going to go ahead and, and borrow this title. And when I go back to my Hoopla, if I look at currently borrowed, there it is. It'll have popped up. The next thing I want to show you if we're browsing, and let's take a look at ebooks. So I've gone here, I can pick my category, uh, and I'm just going to actually right now go back to featured titles. Now, if you have small children, whether uh, your own children or grandchildren, and you want to look for things that are kid friendly, you can go up here and click on kids. And what this does is it acts as a filter. It removes anything that isn't kid friendly. So you can search how you normally would, but it'll only show you titles that are kid friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that check mark. And another thing I wanted to show you is over here in settings. This is where you can update things about your account. If you want to receive emails, uh, this is another way to turn on the kids setting turn into kids mode and it'll show you your borrowing histories. You can um, keep track of what you've borrowed. Library has to do which library you're a member of. So if you move off of Nantucket, Nantucket but you're still in the CLAMS network, you may want to change your uh, library. And recommendations. This is what I spoke of before. When you want to tailor your recommendations so they're more specific, this is where you can. So you can look at audiobooks. What kind of audiobooks are you looking for? Movies, music, comics, ebooks, and television. You can specify. And once you do that, when you go, you don't have to click save. You can just go ahead and check which ones you want. When you go back to my Hoopla, you'll start seeing more specific recommended uh, titles for yourself. Now there's one more thing I wanted to show you in settings. Here's where you would update your password if you want, uh, your email rather, if you wanted to change your email and your password if you want to enter a new password, that's where you'd do it. Now, if you're into audiobooks, one way to listen or read is to just go ahead and click play. And you'll see at the bottom that the book is Bright going to start playing. By James Clear. However, it might not be convenient for you to sit at your desktop or, desktop or your laptop and listen. You may want it on the go. And in that case, what you can do if you have a smartphone is you can go into your Apple Store or if you have a Droid into the, the Play Store and download the Hoopla app. You're going to log in with the same email and password that you use to log into this website. And um, you'll see every all your current borrows, recommendations. You'll be able to do everything you do here, but on your phone. And you'll be able to play your audiobooks on your device if you want to go for a walk or if you're in your car driving around. And I, that's a basic overview of what they have for Hoopla. It's really worth digging around. A colleague told me that they have a, num, uh, a vast collection of comic books for kids and adults. And uh, there's really a lot to offer. So uh, happy reading, happy listening, happy viewing, and have a great day.